Today is Thursday, July 29th, 2021. Welcome to today's daily phrase. Our theme this week is establishing the right priority. Let us pray. Almighty God, create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us that amid the din and confusion of the noisy world, we may always choose the more excellent way. Amen. Our psalm this week is Psalm 73. Truly, God is good to Israel, to those who have a pure heart. But me, my feet had almost stumbled. My steps had nearly slipped because I envied the arrogant. I observed how the wicked are well off. They suffer no pain. Their bodies are fit and strong. They are never in trouble. They aren't weighed down like other people. That's why they wear arrogance like a necklace, why violence covers them like clothes. Their eyes bulge out from eating so well. Their hearts overflow with delusions. They scoff and talk so cruel from their privileged positions, they plan oppression. Their mouths dare to speak against heaven. Their tongues roam the earth. That's why people keep going back to them, keep approving what they say. And what they say is this, how could God possibly know? Does the Most High know anything at all? Look at these wicked ones, always relaxed, piling up the wealth. Meanwhile, I've kept my heart pure for no good reason. I've washed my hands to stay innocent for nothing. I'm weighed down all day long. I'm punished every morning. If I said I will talk about all this, I would have been unfaithful to your children. But when I tried to understand these things, it just seemed like hard work until I entered God's sanctuary and understood what would happen to the wicked. You will definitely put them on a slippery path. <coughs> you will make them fall into ruin how quickly they are devastated, utterly destroyed by terrors. As quickly as a dream departs from someone waking up, my master, when you are stirred up, you make them disappear. When my heart was bitter, when I was all cut up inside, I was stupid and ignorant. I acted like nothing but an animal toward you but I was still always with you. You held my strong hand. You have guided me with your advice. Later, you will receive me with glory. Do I have anyone else in heaven? There's nothing on earth I desire except you. My body and my heart fail. But God is my heart's rock and my share forever. Look, those far from you die. You annihilate all those who are unfaithful to you. But me, it's good for me to be near God. I have taken my refuge in you, my true life God, so I can talk all about your work. 
Our daily scripture is Revelation 19, verses 1 through 8. After this, I heard what sounded like a huge crowd in heaven. They said, Hallelujah, the salvation and glory and power of our God. God's judgments are true and just. Because God judged the great prostitute who ruined the earth by her whoring. And God exacted the penalty for the blood of God's servants from her hand. Then they said a second time, Hallelujah, smoke goes up from her forever and always. The 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped God, who was seated on the throne. And they said, Amen, Hallelujah. Then a voice went out from the throne and said, Praise our God, all you, his servants, and you who revere God, both small and great. And I heard something that sounded like a huge crowd, like rushing water and powerful thunder. They said, Hallelujah, the Lord our God, the Almighty, exercised God's royal power let us rejoice and celebrate and give God the glory for the wedding day of the Lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready. She was given fine, pure white linen to wear for the fine linen is the saints acts of justice. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. The book of Revelation is highly symbolic and should not be understood literally. The prostitute in this passage refers to the Roman Empire and to those within it who were persecuting the early Christians. The author of Revelation wanted to encourage such Christians by reminding them that even the Roman Empire was not stronger than God and that God would bring about Rome's destruction. How does this reminder help you today? Notice how much of this passage is praise of God. How can you praise God even in your worst times? The Lamb is Christ, and the Bride of the Lamb is the Church. Revelation begins with seven letters to the various churches of the time, describing both their strengths and their faults. In what ways has the Church helped you be a better Christ follower, and in what ways has it disappointed you?
Today's reading comes from the writings of Martin Luther. This life, therefore, is not godliness, but the process of becoming godly. Not health, but getting well. Not being, but becoming. Not rest, but exercise. We are not now what we shall be, but we are on the way. The process is not yet finished, but it is actively going on. This is not the goal, but it is the right road. At present, everything does not gleam and sparkle, but everything is being cleansed. Let us pray. God, in this season of history, when so much seems to be falling apart, help us to remember that you are still in power and that nothing will disrupt your ultimate plan of salvation for all creation. Help us to choose to be a part of your plan rather than a part of that which seeks to disrupt your plan. We pray for those who are oppressed by authoritarian government. May they experience the hope that only comes through trusting in you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for this nation, the United States, and ask that you guide our leaders so that they will seek the well-being of all citizens rather than clinging to their own selfish agendas. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for ourselves and ask that you help us to be true citizens of your kingdom, no matter what direction our government entities choose to go. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Receive this prayer of benediction. My Lord, today I will make a thousand choices, big and small, consequential and trivial. In the midst of all these decisions, help me to choose the one thing needed for a richer, more vital life in you. Amen. Go in peace.